Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, um, continuing with the uh, Deloitte's report on uh, blockchain, um, I did a video yesterday on the perceptions that financial leaders have on blockchain. So today, um, I'm going to talk about the second part, which is essentially how, you know, they, they talk about, do you think, um, or the question that were asked in the survey, so do you think the digital assets will outperform the fiat? So uh, we're going to take that particular point on in this particular video to give you a sense as to what the uh, the, the FSI pioneers they, and would like to mention in the survey uh, are talking about uh, digital assets. So um, let's talk about it. Um, as usual, before we do that, please uh, like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash that notification bell so that you are informed every time I upload a new video. Uh, please uh, comment on my videos so that I know what exactly you're looking at and also share my videos with people who you think would benefit from my uh, research, from my insights and from my videos. So without further ado, let's dive in. So as you know, I have, a, I have an ebook. This particular ebook is on my personal journey as an entrepreneur. The book is titled Six Figure Corporate Job to Master Entrepreneur. In this particular book, I mentioned, I've spoken about the time back in 2010 when I quit my six figure globe trying corporate job. So I mentioned about the preparation I took to be an entrepreneur. Then I also mentioned about the challenges I faced as an entrepreneur. And later I've spoken about how I uh, overcame those challenges. So what I've also done is this in this particular book, I have put down three worksheets. These worksheets are essentially minds, mind mapping, or or you could say how how you know to, tries to see how prepared you are to becoming an entrepreneur. So you have to answer some questions and you get certain scores. And uh, towards the end, you have to add up the scores, uh, use the weighted average, and then you arrive at a final score. And that final score will put you under one of, in, under one of the three categories. So the categories are whether you, you are definitely going to become a successful entrepreneur or you need to work around, uh, work around that to become successful uh, as an entrepreneur and you're probably not cut out to becoming an entrepreneur. So the book also mentions how, mentioned how successful I am as an entrepreneur. So you would also get to see how, you know, I took the same uh, uh, you know, worksheet and I scored myself based on my mindset back in 2010. So you will see how much I score. And you will know how successful I am as an entrepreneur with two companies, one in Singapore and one in India, and representations in the US market. The book is available for totally free to you. You will get it on my um, your website. The URL is flashing on the screen. I'll put that in the description box below. Click on it, put down your name and email address, and the uh, link to download the ebook will be emailed to you. I hope you like the book. Please give me your honest feedback. Now let's dive in. So first, we'll try and understand you know the movements from physical to digital asset. So what are these FSI pioneers or the practitioners, the key practitioners, talking about? So 100% of the FSI pioneers believe digital assets will be uh, strong. Very, very, uh, 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 very, very, or sorry about the word OT, it's OR, or somewhat important to other, to their industries in the next two years. And 94% of the FSI pioneers feel digital assets will be stronger alternative to uh, fiat or can even replace fiat in the next 10 years. So those are the major two. Our, uh, you know, insights that came out from that particular point on the future of digital assets and what these FSI pioneers have to say about that. Now let's try and understand where will digital assets play a greater role according to people who are surveyed. 63% of the FSI pioneers feel custody of digital assets and their role in offering new payment channels will be the key roles of digital assets. 
Unlike other assets like uh, publicly traded securities, digital asset will ensure stronger operational protections and customers' unique operational preferences. 56 to 57% of the FSI pioneers feel diversification of investment portfolios, access to decentralized platforms, and tokenization of assets will help build trust and create more security around these assets. However, FSI leaders do recognize that blockchain technology and digital asset capabilities will, will threaten a key banking revenue uh, 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 stream or source. So that's what is coming out when uh, they, they were asked about uh, you know, where the, the digital assets are likely to pay a play a greater role. So I hope uh, uh, that is uh, useful to some of you. I'll, I'll talk more about the survey and the report in the next few days. So keep, watch, watch, keep a lookout for my videos over the next few days. I will also put a link to the video on uh, on on the pre perception that I did uh, uh, perception of the FSI pioneers on blockchain. The video I did yesterday, I put the link to the video on the card above. Go take a look at it as well. So in summary, uh, these uh, FSI pioneers or practitioners of of uh, of FSI FSI practitioners are very very. Uh, upbeat about the digital assets, blockchain, and all the other uh, uh, inner digital assets that's come around with it, whether it is a cryptocurrency or any other such uh, so solution or, or, or assets. Um, and they do see that their companies uh, would need to uh, move to, to blockchain or something similar around digital assets in the near future, in the next two years' time. So, well, well, thank you very much. Thank you for listening to me. As you know, my name is Saurav Mukherjee. I'm a digital technology and marketing leader with over 20 years of global experience. Uh, I'll put down my LinkedIn URL in the, in the description box below so that you, you get to know my profile. And also click on it and uh, uh, feel free to uh, connect with me. I typically approve most uh, uh, LinkedIn uh, invites. I regularly work with um, clients where, where I try and help their uh, business marketing, uh, technological and investment challenges. I find such solutions to those challenges. If you are looking to in, um, engage me as your uh, consultant in your company or startup, you could uh, write to me on LinkedIn or on the contact page of my website. I'll put down the, the URL to the contact page of my website in the description box below. And then we can jump into a conference call and see how we can work together. So finally, before I go, please like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, please smash the notification bell, please comment on my videos, and please share my videos. So until my next video tomorrow on further analysis of uh, the report, a delight report, um, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.